Hey everybody, it's Dean Etheridge and I'm going to be showing you a way that you can speed up your website quickly with a caching plugin called WP Rocket. And I've got a site that's it's loading slow, but I'm going to test it now so you can see. Actually, let me, um, that's from San Jose, California. Okay. Not terrible. I'm going to do it from Dallas, Texas. That's terrible. Okay, it's taking way too long to load. And I went out to tools.pingdom.com up here, and you can run a speed site test. He's got issues on his site, and I've got to fix them. And what this will show you is where the issues are coming from. It's got some problems with JavaScript, uh, combining external CSS. But this plugin is, is super advanced, it's a, a paid plugin. But it's really the best out there. So all I've got to do, I've already downloaded the plugin. So I'll go out to add new plugins. And I want to upload it. And I'll find the plugin here. Open it. Install it. And I'm doing this in real time so you can see how quickly it works. I have the professional version. And I put this on websites for clients. So I have unlimited sites. If they're hosting with me, I put put this on there for them. Uh, if not, it's $39 to purchase it. And I'm going to deactivate that W3 total cache. Okay, now I can go in and change the settings. And these are the settings I can go in. And it's showing me what some of my problems on are on here. So I'm going to combine the CSS. That's one of the things it's asking me to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right. Now, let's go ahead and run a speed test again. I'm going to run it once, and then I'm going to run it again because it's caching the, the page. Okay, that was an 8.31. Let's test it again. I can see it's already loading much quicker. Okay, and this will get better over time, but it's cut off three seconds off the load time. Let's test it one more time. Okay, and it's down to 4.98. So I've got to do a little bit of tweaking to this. And let's just make sure that he looks good out here on his site. Only thing I was worried about was Google Maps, and that's okay here. Everything looks good. As you can see, it's loading much faster if I go to another page. Boom. Much better. So let's run it one more time. And I've got to reduce the file size on his page. Okay. But it's cut off about three and a half seconds off his, his site time. And five is not too bad. I've got another one that's got a real problem too. And that's mine. I've got, I've got to change that up too. But let's run a site test on mine, Dean Etheridge. And I've taken some of the caching plugins out of it. Pretty slow, but I want to let's see what this does on this one. I've got some issues from the server level on this one. Let me install that. And I'm going to turn this off. Let's just see if that works yet. Okay, I was at 5.12. And again, that's at the server level. Okay, let's run that again. That's at 12.01. It's already responding much quicker. Okay, it's at 3.8, which is not bad. I, I can deal with that. Let's test it one more time because it will continue to get better over time and it just keeps improving on your speed. But speed time is extremely important. 3.81. I can live with that. But it's taken me way up from uh, 
what I used to be, I can tell you that. One more time. I can live with four seconds for now. Okay, it's loading okay. I've got to do some work on this side. I work on everybody else's, but don't fix mine. But anyway, highly recommend uh, WP Rocket. And I'll try to include a link just down below this video to where you can go out and purchase it if you'd like. And um, if you have any questions or you're interested in getting some faster hosting, uh, I'm migrating from my current hosting company and these speeds will dramatically improve. Um, let's just run this one more time. 2.87, that's fantastic. So you can see it's it's only going to get better. But if you can be under three seconds, I think you're good to go. That's a pretty large page size there, 2.2. And I'll, I'll do this. I'll work on these settings here. Let's just go ahead and do that now. All right. Let's save those changes. 2.87, we can live with that. I'm going to do that. One more time. I'm probably going to have to run it again. You can see it's having some issues finding the server. Super slow. All right, let's test it again. Much better. 3.54. Let's test it one more time. Two point eight one, so getting better. Let's try it one more time. Two point nine nine. Again, I can live with under three seconds, but this is by far the best caching plugin out there. Yes, it costs some money, but it's certainly worth it. So I hope that helps out. Visit me online at deanethers.com for more tips and tutorials about helping you grow your business and helping you improve your traffic on your website. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.